When people first came to New Zealand, they found there, on the very edge of the vast Pacific, an untouched land of wild rainforest and fiery mountains, of impenetrable woodland and monsters within. Upon those islands, existing in perfect isolation from the rest of the world, could then be found a rich tapestry of life, eons in the making, since that landmass first split off from the other continents on Earth some 80 million years ago, embarking it on its own unique evolutionary path. Not only was New Zealand unpopulated by humans, but it was mostly lacking in mammals in general. For this was a land of birds, avian fauna having filled every single ecological niche in the food chain, ranging from colossal megafauna known as moa that once stalked the forest floor, far larger than any birds that walk the earth today, to the last tiny holdouts that survived to the present. Here, at the very edge of the earth, then existed a prehistoric lost world of flightless giants and winged predators. Left alone to grow to immense sizes, in perfect equilibrium with each other for millions of years. Yet, all this was about to change. For some time, around 800 years ago, either fleeing from strife in their homeland, or striking out anew, humans arrived in New Zealand. Just like in Australia, mammals, as we know them anyway, never made it to New Zealand. But unlike Australia, where marsupials developed instead, New Zealand's birds became the apex animals, some 378 species of them, many of which cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. The most iconic of these avian species must surely be the moa, colossal flightless birds that developed in isolation without the risk of mammalian predators. They spent their lives wandering peacefully around the forest floor and, of course, made easy targets for hungry people. And in time, their staple diet. The Wairau Bar excavations revealed a world moulded by the moa. The people here used moa eggshells to carry water, and their bones for the manufacture of fish hooks, harpoons and ornaments. Further south, at the mouth of the Shag River, at least 6,000 moa were slaughtered in a very short space of time. Recently discovered cave paintings hint at this long gone by time when humans and megafauna lived side by side. Though archaeology hints at other beasts too. For prior to the human arrival, the moa had just one predator, another animal that grew larger and larger over millions of years in mirroring its prey. With vertebrae the size of a child's head, the Harst's eagle was the largest predatory eagle ever to soar through the skies. And it is very likely that for a brief time, it developed a taste for human flesh. With few alternative sources of food as easy to acquire as Moa, who had no fear of humans, New Zealand's newly arrived Polynesian people quickly grew accustomed to killing and eating them. Within a century, all of the slow-breeding moa, along with their predators, were gone forever. <laughs>